All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Raw Matters and in today's video we're going to be looking at some crazy animal encounters at the zoo. Sometimes that glass just isn't strong enough to hold the animals back. If you could support the video with like rating, I would greatly appreciate it. If you're new around here, be sure to subscribe because that way you never miss an upload. Okay, so this isn't a zoo, but this is someone's house. I'd be so freaked out. Look at them kangaroo hands, man. They're scary. They're really scary. <laughs> that's just that's just unreal, man. Like, oh, I'm so glad that I live somewhere where there's not too many crazy animals. <laughs> not entirely sure what country this is from, but it's definitely not an English-speaking country. It's a magnificent polar bear, though. I love polar bears. <laughs> oh, he just straight shattered that glass. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, that alone would turn me off visiting places like this for a while. <laughs> the kid just ran for his life. I don't blame him, though. If I got in the middle of those two cats, I might as well just kiss my life goodbye. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, nice, I got it. Good job, good job. Stop it. Kid, you better not boss that cat around. Oh, he just wants to play. No worries. Why don't you go in there and play with him? He won't do anything bad to you. <laughs> it's just like trying to get him with its beak. Oh, I think that's an ostrich, right? Not entirely sure what this tiger's doing, but he just really seems interested in this guy just laying down. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh my god! Oh my god! I'm scared! I'm telling you, man. Some people put too much trust in the glass. Right here, look at this one, too. <laughs> oh my. I don't understand how that guy didn't just turn around right there. I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I would definitely go and hide by my mom after that one as well. I'm with you, kid. What are you screaming for? <laughs> Then again, maybe it might do something. <laughs> See, this is the part of zoos that I don't really like because I feel like the animals are kind of just annoyed and tormented in a way. I just don't like that. Whoa. <laughs> what is going on? I couldn't imagine if that thing, like, jumped out somehow and got out like oh my god just kiss your life goodbye here he comes here he comes <laughs> i don't know man clips like that just kind of rub me the wrong way again i just think that they're kind of like just teasing the animals in a way <laughs> that, that one was pretty funny though <laughs> Poor little kid must be scarred after that. <laughs> that tank looks really, like, kind of way too small for that killer whale, to be completely honest with you. Yeah, 
nothing seems to be going on too much, but he does kind of look stressed out. The killer whale definitely looks a little bit stressed out. <laughs> The kid just looks so freaked out. He's just like, no, or she, I don't know. I did. It doesn't look like that was some sort of malicious attack, though. It just looked like he was genuinely curious about the kid, but animals can't see glass, so I think keeping animals, like, behind glass or whatever just really isn't the best idea or just really isn't, you know, optimal for them at all. <laughs> It's kind of like this. I mean, I guess people want to appreciate the animals, but I don't know. Man, lions are absolutely just amazing creatures. I love lions and tigers and bears. Oh my! Each other and He's just giving these people, like, that evil stare. Like, he's just like, who are these people? What are they doing in my habitat? What are they doing by my habitat? Licking his chops. Looks like he's just getting ready to eat something. He's hungry. Did she just wait? Did that guy just say that's what she wants? That's a male lion, buddy. That's a male lion. If that's what you were talking about. <laughs> I'd be so freaked out, like, there's just, oh my god, like, that glass, as you've seen in previous clips, can break at any time if it's not fortified correctly. I don't really agree with the people laughing because the animal is just doing what it's naturally, like, you know, instilled to do. I don't really agree in laughing at it because it can't stick glass or laughing at it because it trips because animals are meant to be put in this in this like type of environment. <laughs> Imagine if he could have got traction. Imagine if he got traction for what? He's gonna cl climb straight up the glass or something? I don't know what he meant by that remark. I don't know, man. I think that glass just shouldn't be used for animals, but then again, what else are you going to use? Because people will probably stick their hands through fences and whatnot. No, this is... <laughs> and that's pretty much going to wrap things up. Thank you all so much for watching. Also, if you enjoy these clips, you can feel free to go and check out the original videos down below. You can go check out the channels that post them and go subscribe if you like what they put out. I want to stress that even more in the videos because I do have to give credit where credit is due for these clips. These clips are not mine. They are, of course, taken and used for commentary and criticism and reaction purposes so that way you guys can enjoy. And also, I want to make it very clear that I do not support zoos and I do not support circuses or any places like that really. 
As you kind of heard in the video, I'm not exactly pro zoo. I haven't been to a zoo in a very long time. And that's on purpose, man. I just don't believe that animals should be kept in that kind of environment. They can't see glass very well. And when I see animals bashing into glass and people laughing, like, yeah, I guess it can be kind of funny. But at the same time, it's sad because the animal can't really see that that well. So that's all I wanted to say. Anyways, the video's coming to a conclusion here. Thank you all so much for watching. Do not forget to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.